I blame Taka. We should really get him in on me sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I'm about to do something that no one has ever done before. Do a commentary track where I'm involved. I'm shooting from the hip right now. All right, folks. Okay, so like Kaiser Neko and, uh, and Lanny and Lanny Pater, Nick and Scott. Okay, they they decided to be like, hey, hey, talk. We're gonna do a commentary track. Oh, that's awesome. I can't believe you've done this. Yet it's happened. So Kaiser Neko and Lanny Pittori, they sat in a room and they're like, you know what? Fuck Taka. But Kaiser's like, yeah, but not really. But yeah. I don't know who started it. But I mean, the first thing said was fuck Taka, apparently. Taka, you jelly? <laughs> what? No. I'd have to be pretty insecure to do my own fucking separate commentary track and reiterate how unmad I am really angrily. Alrighty, for those who would like to know who I play in Dragon Ball Z, because not all of you know. Hi, everybody. I'm Takahata. I played many characters in Dragon Ball Z at Bridge. Nappa! I play Guru. I play Dende. I play Bardock as well. I play Goldo. And I also play... I also play a certain imperfect cell who might get a little bit wider in the hips. Child perfection! Bearing hips! And then finally, you become the perfect form you've always been trying to become. <laughs> oh, that's right, Goku. I'm gonna fist your child and I'm gonna think of you the entire time. Uh, I, I also, you know who else? Uh, 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 what else I did? I also wrote the fucking show with them. Okay? Now, Dragon Ball Z Abridged came out in 2008? I think... Fuck if I know. Originally, I wasn't really set to play anybody when we were first starting to write the show. I think I was penned initially and hilariously as, uh, I think... Yajiro because he hadn't showed up yet and they're like all right let's give him something because myself and Kaiser we were starting to speak to each other because of our individual bridge series me making G Gundam abridged and himself working on Lupin the third abridged which is a crime that got removed because at the time there were a couple Dragon Ball Z abridges there were other Dragon Ball Z abridges out there actually there was like 10 20 it was just like one ep episode ones and shit like it was a lot of that uh, uh, they were, it was Neighborhood Cluck Productions, I think it was called, and it was, it was Masako, Lanny, and, uh, Vegeta 396, and they were working on the original DBZ movies, because they didn't want to start a whole new series, they just figured, well, we don't want to do DBZ. They produced the first two movies, first one being written by Th Vegeta 396, second one being made very much by Lanny Pator. Now, at that point, uh, Kaiser Neko, uh, reached out to him. Now, uh... I asked Kaiser a question, and I'm just like, if you could make any series, what could it be? He's like, Dragon Ball Z Bridge. I asked him in a call, what would you make if you could Dragon Ball Z abridged? But they've got neighborhood clock guys are already doing the movies. I'm like, well, why don't you ask them? If you really want to do it, dude, why don't you ask them? I actually brought it up to him. I take credit for this because it's true it happened. And uh, when, and we were in a call and I just I kind of just was prompting Kaiser eventually. Just ask him, dude. Just ask him if he wants to do it. Because at that point, Lanny ha and uh, Masako had responded to Kaiser's episodes of Loop on the Third going, holy shit. Because they're both editors, right? And they're looking at Stott's work going like, dude, this is, this is, this is incredible. You're amazing. And I'm like, dude, they respect your work, they respect what you do, and they respect your editing, man. Especially, they really respect that thing, and that's the thing you truly make better. Um, me being part of it was kind of incidental, and I didn't like, I didn't know how I was going to be involved. And I kind of, we we all ended up vibing and shooting the shit and throwing jokes around the room that night in a Skype call for like five hours. I swear to God, it was so long. Lanny was down to do Dragon Ball Z because he mentioned he was a little bit nervous because of all the other DBZ parody series. And it, he was he'd been considerate of other people, and it was really kind. But Kaiser, was, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, but, like, fuck him. <laughs> Let's make it. Let's fucking make it. Let's make it! You know, so in the end, I was cool to get whatever because Lanny was like, hey, I just... I'd like to play my... I'd like to pl keep playing my characters for the movies, like Krillin and Piccolo, because I really like playing them. And I'd like to be Vegeta as well. And that was his thing. He was like, I'd like to be Vegeta. I want to be Vegeta. And I... And here's the thing. Nick was not wrong to demand that, because Nick's Vegeta is Chef Kiss. 
It is so fucking great, and I'm gonna I'm gonna break I'm gonna break, break down to fanboying over all my coworkers throughout this entire process while also insulting them. It'll be fine. And so that night we were just throwing jokes around, and it came to talking about what we would do at the beginning of the show. So we had to say someone play Napa, and like <laughs> I forget it was Lanny or Kaiser, maybe it was Lanny like hey, 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 talking. Can you do a Can you do a Napa? I thought about the the original voice of Napa from the Over 9000 video. Hey Vegeta! Like, it's like it's so like. What does the scouter say about? It's like this this guy. I can't even describe the original Michael Dobson's voice. It's so unique. I can't even describe it. I can't even do it justice. But that was the one that was in my head because that was the one I watched when I was a kid. So I did it in pr the worst impression of that voice ever. I was trying to get that ah, that, that ah, part of his voice, but I just made it high pitched, and that's pretty much what I do. Napa, it's I'm just talking like this the whole time. That's right, Dame. How's it going? That's right. I'm caught locking up. And then I put the grin in. It's actually a very gritty, nasally voice. Wow, Vegeta. I didn't know. Hey, Vegeta. Hey, Vegeta. 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 PP butt sex vagina. So in season one, I play. I do a bunch of extra voices, but my character I play is Nappa. Now, what this made me discover as a writer was that essentially, if I could place myself in the writing, I could write better, almost like I'm in the moment. I can write for other people as well, but I really enjoy writing for myself in the moment too, to come up with something organic. So like abridging was really like a natural like thing for me because I'm such a fan of animated comedies and everything. So uh, yeah, and that's kind of how we got started. Thank you so much guys. All right, now let's get into episode one. Now, Real quick here, we're opening up with one of the, a very oddly dated joke, but this is this first episode, the audio, guys. And I know Scott's already griped about the audio, but it's the first episode. Also, this is the first episode, and I want to talk about the writing of this one real quick before we even start. Sorry, guys. Uh, we did not have a writing team yet. We didn't have definitive writers. It was, we're trying to mesh to put a team together. So we kind of had the original uh, writers from the Neighborhood Clock movies. So uh, he, uh, a lot of varying styles in the room, but the problem is you really need to pen down or really peg down a particular style. It's one of the reasons why some of the comedy's all over the place in the first episode, and we really didn't have a definitive team or a direction until episode two, because I think we reflected upon episode one, and uh, I'll go into that here after I hit play here. Lol, so random humor, exactly. I, it's it's got to have a purpose. Oh, God, no, my marijuana patch. Uh, I mean, my carrot patch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Earth, with Open Bar. Holy crap, it's Sonic the Hedgehog! Okay, so uh, that Open Bar joke is a reference to one of Kaiser's continuous jokes on his own individual bridge series. So you can tell, yes, I'm keeping it there, everybody. We're just right out the gate. This is just, it's every old abridging style. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like we can't even do a cutaway to something. We just, how about that thing? Huh? <laughs> First episode. Better think of something cool to say to make him stop. Hey, you! Genius, Farmer. Genius. I don't hate oh, Farmer with shotgun. Protect me, gun! <laughs> hey, no! Bad human! Yeah, but I voted for Bush! Oh, boy. Bad this... human. <sighs> so this is why Dad said I couldn't keep a pool. See, I, right out the gate here, that a pool joke is like, no one knows who a pool is. No one has any fucking idea who that is. That's a, it's an example of like just a, too much irreverent humor. Like, the, I, this is not me throwing anybody on the bus. It's just some people are just like, you know what? We should talk about characters who aren't popular. Uh, okay. And there's a bit of that in this episode. And uh, the pool joke, it, I hate it. I fucking hate it. God damn it. I don't know why we did I, this. Is, again, first episode. So I only chimed in every now and then because I didn't want to overstep in writing. You know what I mean? <laughs> This is still a good, this is still a really well-timed intro, and Scott, I know Scott's gonna give himself grief over this, but this was 07 or 08 when this was made. So, like, you know. Good old wasteland. <laughs> yep. Sure is some kick-ass training. Damn it, I'm lonely. I will always love Lanny's Piccolo. And now, within, within five, not even three minutes of this show, Barely even two, Lanny is about to talk to himself. Here we go, folks. Get used to it. It happens a lot. Might as well 
check my space. Oh God! New comment. Ha! 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 We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. We did the Twitter joke with Alucard. It's the same thing. It's the same. Th it's okay. We're gonna get through this, folks. Okay, we're gonna get through this. <laughs> uh, two seasons. Let's go. Friend requests. Damn it. Well, at least I have you, Tom. You're always there for me. Yeah, he is so. But I'm telling you right now, the fact that Piccolo would have a MySpace is also. It's also funny in that MySpace isn't used anymore. That's also funny because even when we wrote that joke, that was kind of a dated thing. That was kind of the joke with Piccolo because he's really behind the curve. Oh, a smartass, huh? I don't appreciate smartasses. Prepare yourself for my signature attack. Double shot! No. Uh -huh. Give me the mic. What? No, no, come on, man. Give me the mic. Give this me is it. the real attack now. No, it isn't. Fine. Okay, I'm pausing this too. Okay, all right. All right. Now, this joke is the worst joke in this show. It is. This is the worst joke in the... Okay, I never got this joke. Correct. That's why. All right, would you like me to explain this joke, everybody? Would you like me to explain this joke with not insulting anybody? Uh, I only got this joke after Kaiser and Lanny explained it during their commentary. Exactly. And that's... And they, they already explained it. The long and short of it is... Lanny, in, in Raditz's voice, as Raditz, is about to do the name of one of the attacks. Now, they changed the name of the attack in, like, the in one of the translations. And the more weird name is the one that one of the writers liked. So his joke was, okay, what I'll do is, uh, how about because I want to play this character because he's my favorite character. Uh, I'm going to jump in. And uh, he, we will switch actors, and we'll fight over the microphone, and that'll be the joke. You can say it was, it's Vegeta 3986, because everyone knows now. Yes, it was Vegeta 39. He wanted to do that joke. And I feel like I'm throwing him under the bus because it's the worst joke. But it's just, it, it, for this kind of humor, it's like everything kind of needs to be like that. You know what I mean? Like, when it just kind of drops in the middle, it's such a weird fucking joke that I, I'm not a fan of this kind of humor when you're just doing a straight, like, like absurdism, because it, like, takes you completely out of it. And if you're going to do something like that, I feel like it has to, the premise has to be around it. Kind of like Eric Andre shit, I feel like, in a little ways. You know what I mean? Like, that entire premise is absurd. Like, maximum that kind of shit. But anyways. Damn it, ba -ba, don't get copyright! I claim! Okay. Hey, I'm here. Boobs, I mean, Boma. Hi. All right, so here we are joined by many characters. We are joined by Turtle, voiced by Kaiser, but we didn't know that yet. Krillin! My favorite fucking character. I love Krillin. I love Krillin. I love him. I love that man. He is the best character ever. Fuck yeah, Krillin. It is my favorite character that he plays. I love his Vegeta. I love Krillin. I love that motherfucker. I love him. I God damn it. And we are joined by Mosco X's original Master Roshi. Which is very interesting sounding. I know we switched up the actors later on. It's always, there's always a charm to what Mosco does with this character. It's, you know, so let's have a listen. Okay. And also Bulma. We're joined by Megami33, who at the time was working on the wonderful uh, Sailor Moon Bridge back in the day. And she stepped in and played us Bulma. And man, does she, it, 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 her quality as an actress, just, you can see this on just a straight incline from this episode. And this is why this episode is very interesting to me. Because it's like, oh, man, this is everyone at level, like, two. <laughs> Before we level up. And, all right, continue on going here. How's it going? I'm drinking OJ. <laughs> now it's apple juice. <laughs> no, it's beer. Yay, beer. <laughs> so where's Yamcha? I think the bastard's cheating on me. Why do you say that? Boma, it's not what it looks like. Oh, okay, it's totally what it looks like. Can I still live here? Please? Before this, I was living in the desert. Oh, and have you changed Par's litter box yet? I need Boom Boom! Oh, are no. you serious, Yamcha? Oh, that is so out of care. So you're single then? Oh my god. Old Krillin voice has a, a bit of a eh to the voice. It's a little bit of a eh to the voice. It kind of smooths out. Uh, okay. This is actually my son. What a twist! <laughs> That still gets me. That still gets me every time. I don't know why it does, guys. It just gets me every- It gets me every time. I don't know why. It's like, all right, we were ahead of the time. This was before everyone else made the jokes. That's M. Night Shyamalan. 
I'm not Shapu Shari Sha Sha Shabadu Hey son, come here. Stop playing with a turtle. We don't need people saying things. I, I still don't get that joke. Hey, is that a dragon ball on his head? Doesn't that sort of make him a target for villains who might want them? Oh come on, I beat Piccolo. I'm strong enough to beat anyone who Holy Black on a Popo, what is Oh, that was the second worst joke, right. That? What's wrong? I didn't write that joke. I did not write that joke, by the way. I did not write that joke. I did not write that. I will take credit for my jokes. I did not write that joke. It took me a while to get here, but I oh. finally found you, Kakarot. What? That's right. That's your name. What? The name you were given before we sent you to this planet. What? Mm. You hit your head as a child, didn't you? What? Oh, for God's sakes, listen. Now, now, true story, and this is what, maybe the youngins might not know this. When Dragon Ball Z came out, and this is true, like, all, like Dragon Ball had not run in full. So we had only seen, like, the first peel-off adventure, really. That's it, and they would loop that, and then they just jumped to Z. So everyone was fucking confused as shit. Like, on top of this already being confusing if you had followed Dragon Ball up to this point, what a mind fuck this is in general. Imagine not even seeing all of Dragon Ball and having that happen. And that's what my gen had to deal with. We just, it just went from episode like 1 to 13, Z. It was like, whoa, wow. What the, what the, what the, and the time at the end, yes, we used to be rivals. Were you? I wasn't. What? Only watch Z, who dis? That's literally what, it, 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 what happened to a lot of people. Is they never actually watched full Dragon Ball, so we make a, I think we make a couple jokes regarding that because I just didn't even know what happened in a lot of Dragon Ball until I started writing Z. I had to learn everything. It was like holy shit, they didn't put any of this on TV. Right, Raven Army, I would have loved that. And to top off this expositional onslaught, I am your brother. Now this is the, this is one of many. You're his brother, huh? <laughs> wow, that must mean you'll be involved in a lot of future events, right? Fourth wall breaky. Right? <laughs> it begins! <laughs> it begins! Ah, uh, first of many. Uh, biggest failed uh, misstep in storytelling is how nothing Goku's brother is. That's such a waste. That's a whole arc, you know? And I know they were starting strong with this uh, by starting out with his brother, but man, he's dusted so quick in the plot, and that's it. No more Goku's brother. No being revived, and he's never mentioned again. And it's actually... I hate that part of the plot the most. I get why people, like, sometimes people really like Raditz because he's an underplayed character, but that's the truth of it. He is, and it's kind of silly. It, make, it would make sense if, like, Goku was, like, a bastard son or something. I don't know. There's just His parentage would have made... And his brothers and sisters, especially if there's other Saiyans out there, there's so much more that could have been done with that and just felt like they didn't. All right, anyways, continuing on. Also, cock. Say. Hey, stop hitting Krillin. Why? Because you're breaking Kame House. Mm. Yeah, stop breaking Kame House. Say, what are you here for? <laughs> I love The Dragon Balls? The, the dragons what? The Dragon Balls, you know? There are seven of them. They grant you any wish you want. <laughs> Like immortality? God damn it, Goku. Or Bulma's panties. Oh, God, they're inside. Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're totally going oh, here to it is. Earth to get our wish. Yeah, we're going to get panties. I mean, immortality. Immortality is what I meant. Right, Vegeta? Yeah, we're going to get panties. I mean, I meant immortality. Immortality is what I said. That's what I, that's what I was going for. I slurred my words. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have better diction. <laughs> Like I can, I'm, I'm, I can hear myself. I'm slurring so bad in this scene. I really, I, I'm, one more time, folks. Yeah, we're gonna get panties. Panties. I mean immortality. I mean immortality. Immortality is what I meant. Immortality. Just get in the damn pod. So, with mm. all due no. respect. <laughs> Daddy. I'll be taking this. Oh, Yoink. right. That. Wait, somebody stop him. Aw, oh, jeez. Hey, look, I know you totally want to kill me and all, but today's kind of a bad day. My brother just showed up. Turns out I'm an alien. He stole my kid. 
Oh yeah, I was watching that. That was priceless. <laughs> old Lanny Mike. Oh yeah, old Lanny Mike. Uh, uh, sorry for your loss. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Wanna help me get him back? Why? Yeah. I'll friend you on MySpace. Tom, you've been replaced. Didn't really have an ending yet. Now it's a Nestle Crunch Bar. <laughs> now it's a Gummy Bear. Now it's Napa. Wait, what the hell? Uh, so, hi, everybody. All right, that was episode one. So, uh, as you can tell, Gohan's actor changed pretty readily after that. Masako took over for Gohan, I believe, right at in episode two. Uh, it was a point of contention at one point because there was just kind of a, a worry about who was getting what roles initially. And uh, there was just a bit of a kind of a lot of discussions about that because people were thinking into season three and who they wanted to play as well. And I feel like um, originally, uh, back in the day, Vegeta 396 wanted to play uh, Teen Gohan as well. So he wanted to play younger Gohan. But the problem is, at the time, and even now, he could not do that voice. Uh, it's, it's just not within the doable doability. There's one cl c voice close to it that almost wasn't doable, and that was my Dende voice initially. I almost could not pull it off. And one of the scenes, Scott had to pitch mod me down a little bit because I sounded too low because I was still getting used to the voice. And, um, yeah. Uh, and now by episode two, we uh, had decided, because we were trying to script it the older way, the same way with the first episode, and we were realizing it wasn't working. Um, because there's too many different styles that directly clashed with one another. Uh, so in the end, it became myself, myself uh, Scott and Nick uh, going forward, uh, writing the scripts. And this is kind of the first episode where we really kind of, the three of us wrote it together. Now, anyways, episode two is about to take off here, folks. Now, this episode's fun. It has a lot of really fun jokes that I, have, I think have aged really well. Now, episode one to two, now that we had gotten it down to the three of us uh, as a writing team, and we kind of had a rule of uh, two versus one, uh, it, it's like you almost need that uh, to kill dead deadlocks, especially if two people like a joke, one doesn't, and vice versa, back, forth, back, forth. So uh, it's one of the reasons why it's one of the reasons why this episode I think it's a quality jump it goes like it we just skyrocket here so let's uh, let's take it away folks. And your dad spit you out as an egg, right? What about it? Are are you a Yoshi? Nailed it, Mosico. Yes, Goku. I'm a green <laughs> fucking dinosaur. dinosaur. Can can I ride you? <laughs> This is funny! That's still funny! That's a, still, that's, that's a funny joke! I really like that. that, that my quality, it was skyrocketed on Lanny. He upgraded his setup at that point. Joke is funny. Joke's on point. Uh, Lurk King 5. Yes, Goku, I'm a green fucking dinosaur! <laughs> it's still funny! Shut up. I said shut up! And now Moscow is playing Gohan, and everything sounds clean now. Everything, like... Vegeta playing Raditz is not a bad cast. He's actually doing a pretty good job playing Raditz. So, you're here already. And I see you brought the Namekian as well. Uh, actually, that hasn't been explained yet. Oh. Well, it's not like anyone cares about him anyway. Well, screw you two! Piccolo, you use weighted training clothes as well? No, Goku. I just love to get naked when I'm around you. <laughs> Their power level is rising. <laughs> so... Nudity makes you stronger on this planet. Uh, no. We're wearing weighted clothing. Oh, of course. Because that would be ridiculous. <laughs> See, I... This is why I feel bad for Raditz as a character. I just wish there was more of him in the show. Because I almost like it. It's like it's an evil go go. Oh, I see. Ha ha. And then here comes. Here comes. The two of the best fighters canonically. Really this guy's just like. Rush him. Damn it, Goku. <laughs> we at least try to dodge this one. Dodge what? Loki. Ah! Now this. Now this was our first time ever uh, writing a fight scene. We had. Uh, I feel like myself and Kaiser, at least, um, we had never written a fight scene before. Kaiser, being a massive DBZ fan, he knew his way around this footage, and I feel like because he knew it so well, um, you know, he was able to do this. Me, I, at this point, I'm still trying to find my confidence as a writer, so I can't really remember what it was necessarily pitching or writing at this stage. I had. 
I was helping out with the fight scenes. I'm just trying to remember what I was writing at this point. It's really hard for me to remember, but I just recall when we first broke down this fight scene, it just it was a bit of a challenge because remember when we got to the fight scene, I feel like that's when we realized we needed to separate the writer. We needed to like, essentially we needed to like iron out the writing team. Fighting scene without BGM. Oh, I know. It's the, still the second episode. We're still learning. Ha, you missed me. My bad. Ah. And this is Skyzer's editing making this fight scene. He's <laughs> cutting it down to the bare, po the, 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 the important Less parts. Talky, more fighty. You'll have to distract him while I charge it. That's not too bad. For five minutes. Ooh. And considering he beat us to a pulp and under one, it, ah, oh, never mind. I'm sure you can handle it. Wow, you really have that much faith in me? Yeah, sure. Why not? Well, then, I won't disappoint you. Here goes nothing. Uh, ready or not, here I go. I'm trying to remember if this might have been my pitch that Goku just gets beat up to that. Let me go. Perhaps on the second thought, a whole five minute startup time for an attack is pretty abysmal in terms of usability in battle. Let go, Ralph! Got your tail. Again. Please let go. Well. Oh, Ow, spine. Ow, ribs. Definitely ribs. Disregarding the Namekian eye. Uh uh, a Yoshi. I'm not a goddamn Yoshi! <laughs> well, you said you were. It's called sarcasm! What's that taste like? Damn it, Goku! Stop! Aces. I, again, Lanny is crushing it as Piccolo. Ignoring me! Ah, my ribs! I think you broke, broke my... my mm, ribs. ribs. Uh, stop. Ignoring me Ow. and die! Huh? It's like a Homer Simpson joke. My daddy! No, my space bomb! Ah, my space armor! We get it, you're from space! Yeah. Uncle Raditz is pissed! We here at Team Four Star do not condone child violence. We do, however, find. I, I don't really. I depend. No, die! Full Nelson. Oh, my God, a full Nelson! That won't work on me. I'm Raditz. Great Piccolo. read from Vegeta. Good. Just make sure you give me a signal before you fire that thing. I'm right behind him. My head cannon is Piccolo. Actually, did intend to kill Goku. I'll give you a signal. <laughs> It'll be the last signal. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Because he's still forward. a villain, technically. Here we go. Makasapa. Oh, the hell with it. Special beam cannon. Is that what you're gonna yell out when you? Oh God! <laughs> Lanny, cry. Lanny playing the recall guy and nailing it. Damn it. No way I could have gotten out of there. You know, you could have flown. Damn you, hindsight! Hindsight! Blip. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> and Raz is dead. Loki, that was actually what happened in the show. No, they just no. waited too long. You can't die. Here, I brought a sensu bean. I don't think that's gonna work. Why not? I sort of have a hole in my esophagus. Wait, then how are you breathing? Goku? It's not. It's, it's, it's like Goku? chest or whatever. Sternum, technically. Whatever. Fuck it. Second episode. Holy crap. I'm not the first person to die in this series. <laughs> Damn it, Krillin. Krillin. What? Too soon. I can't believe he's gone. Yeah, pity that. <laughs> Listen, he didn't have the best microphone at the time, and he had to really back off that microphone. But for this one, uh, we didn't have an explosion going off, so you could hear it. But this one, you're going to hear the broom. So he's really far off his mic on that. But this, here's the thing. We're, we're just starting out. We don't have proper audio recording setups yet. Not fully. Wait, what the hell? You can regenerate? Yeah. And you know what else? What? I didn't go on by. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody stop him! Damn it, Roshi! Shut up, Krillin. Oh, and there was our response. And there, there was our response to people really liking episode. Gohan, oh. do a headbutt. <laughs> do you get this reference? 